Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. There is a new Sumeru story event. I don't know what this is about, but it's probably Sumeru Festival or something. So let's take a look. I'm using only Traveler and Naida just like last time in the challenge. Just for the story lah. Nahida just to read minds of the NPC and Traveler just the main character lah. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to go here right? Just bring Nahida in case. Ask around for news. Uh, ah, I was gonna scan. <laughs> If you would, Rikas. are you two the famous traveler and Paimon by any chance? We sure are, and who are you? My name is Wikas, a member of the Academia Extravaganza Planning Committee. Have you two heard of this festival? Yep, and that's exactly why we're here. Is that so? Looks like our advertising is working. Since you're both interested, would you mind if I gave you a brief explanation of the event? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, the Academia Extravaganza is a grand event run by the Academia with a long and storied history. To be precise, it can be divided into the Wisdom Gala and the Inter Darshan Championship. The gala is held annually. During this time, all six Darshans will set up booths throughout the city and host guests to showcase the most fascinating aspects of their school and thus increase their influence. On the other hand, the championship is held once every four years each Darshan will send a representative to vie for the position of Grand Champion. This year, the gala is being held alongside the championship, so the mood in the city is, as they say, at an unprecedented fever pitch. Got it! Cool! Thanks so much okay. for the detailed explanation! You're most welcome. Answering questions regarding the Academia Extravaganza is my job, and... I actually do have something I would like to ask the two of you. Huh? Need our help with something? Well, let me begin by saying that this year's Academia Extravaganza is of utmost importance to us. Lesser Lord Kusanali and the Sages came up with a plan for the Academia to recruit talented people from the desert starting next year. As okay. such, we've invited a great number of desert dwellers to take part in this festival, so they can hopefully experience the Academia's atmosphere ahead of time. I've heard that the two of you are famous across both the rainforest and desert, with your participation, especially in the Inter Darshan Championship, more people will definitely come to appreciate the festival. We're not academia researchers. Did you say the only Darshan representatives can take part? Exactly! Or do you mean you want us to join a Darshan? Ugh, but then we would have to <laughs> deal with the exams and essays and stuff like that. No need to worry. The championship participants have already been selected. I mean to invite the two of you as guest commentators. Commentators? Your job will be to observe and record every part of the competition. Oh, there's no a pressure. <laughs> Just follow each match and enjoy the festival. Okay. Aside from that, we'll also prepare some compensation for your efforts. We won't have you working for free. That kind of sounds like a sweet deal. What do you think? Yes, two others, in fact. Let me guess. I'll hate them. And another one. Hmm. Their responsibilities will be somewhat different from yours. Nahida? <laughs> one of our organizers will explain the details to you later at the main venue. No so, way. how about it? Would you like to take this commission? Give it a go. Wow! <laughs> Having fun while getting paid? This sounds awesome! The main event venue is at the outskirts of the Citadel of Regzar, and the organizer you're looking for is Karina. Tell her the situation and she'll get you set up. The championship is going to begin soon. I wish you a good experience serving as commentators. If you have any doubts, come find me anytime. Well, mostly Paimon is going to be the commentator. <laughs> Traveler will be silent. Alrighty, off we go! Okay. The Parade of Providence Act 1. Comings and goings. Alright. Really? <laughs> Okay, for this event, nothing. Is there anything else I can help you with? No. 
There is no dialogue options. Okay. <laughs> uh, where are we going? Main entrance. Main venue. Okay. Oh, already something here. I see everything. No, you don't. <laughs> Um, I don't see anyone. Ah, okay. They really don't want me to check any NPC. Probably blank. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to the Academia Extravaganza. Karina. Okay. Now then, allow me to reveal the prizes for this iteration of the Interdarshan Championship: fabulous monetary rewards, research funds, a limited edition Genius Invocation TCG card, <laughs> and the right to wear the Diadem of Knowledge. I know, so I, I know, that like I that. Not elaborate as to how this is a symbol card. of great honor. Diadem of Knowledge. She should be Karina, right? Looks like she's in the middle of something. Let's wait till she's less busy, then go introduce ourselves. The Diadem of Knowledge. What a perfect work of art. <sighs> Every time I see it, I feel like I'm losing myself in its beauty. The one who proves fit to wear it must be a rare genius indeed. I believe that most of you have already seen the Diadem of Knowledge or have heard tales about it. Twenty years ago, a researcher named Sachin bought it for a large sum of mora before donating it to the Academia. The generous championship prizes are also sourced from his sponsorship. Before we begin, hmm. allow me to express our gratitude to this hmm? researcher, who cannot be with us right wait, now. Wait, wait, what's going on? What is this glitch again? What's going on? Huh? What? Things can only get worse. What is this? Things can only go from bad to worse. What is this? Bit? This is... What? Who are you? Human nature begets conflict, and conflict begets ruin. From the beginning, the seeds of wickedness this? have been. Huh? Out of, out of nowhere. What? Hey! Stop spacing out! What was that? Paimon called out to you, but you didn't respond. You okay? Did you stay up late without telling Paimon? All right. I'm sure we're all more than ready for the championship to begin. Now then, let's invite our six Darshan Something's representatives not gonna to the stage. Uh, uh, happen our though. contestants <laughs> are. All right, who are the contestants? I'm pretty sure Sino is one of them. Tainari. Representing Amorta, Tainari. Amorta <laughs> Tainari Biology. Okay. Sino, there he is. Representing Spontamage. Elementalism. Okay. <laughs> Layla, representing. I forgot representing the name. Representing Layla. Rotawahist. Illuminationism. Okay. And Faruzan. Representing Aravatat. Faruzan. Semiotics. There's two more. Aha, new character representing here. Representing Kasharawa. Kabe. Kasharawa. Technology and and for Vahumana, uh, is Vahumana's representative not here yet? Who is he? These introductions are pointless. Oh my Let's god, just get this over with. <laughs> of course, yeah, I, I name him Skara. Just Skara, all right. Uh Did Nahida pick him to be the representative? <laughs> Finally, our final contestant is Bahumana's representative. Oh, he's not calling him. Hat guy. <laughs> Hat guy. Really? Hat guy? Okay, yeah, we're not. He's. They're not gonna say <laughs> his name anyway. Hat guy. <laughs> Etiology. Oh, so that's Hat Guy. I think I've seen him before. Hat Guy, really? Uh, you know who he is? I 
I've heard that he's a researcher from a different country who nominally belongs to Vahumana. Yeah, Word is that he's written a lot of political analyses. Right. His manner of speech hasn't made him popular amongst most other Vahumana researchers, but his comings and goings are quite irregular, so he doesn't interact with others much. Aside from his more controversial aspects, his perspectives are considered quite incisive. Vahumana has seen a dearth of new talent lately, and some of its existing ones um. are not currently at the Academia, <laughs> so I suspect he might have been their only option. It's just kind of weird. He doesn't seem like the kind of yeah. guy to participate in competitions like this one. How is he? <laughs> now that we have our okay, six sure. contestants, the championship will soon begin. Who will triumph this time around? Hold on to your hats, because we're all on this ride together. But uh, we kind of knew that the Wanderer will be part of this. Uh, okay. Huh. We really do know a lot of the contestants. We know all of them. Especially him. <laughs> Paimon still thinks it's weird that he's here. <laughs> okay. What the hell? Quest out of nowhere. Uh, why? Kave, Leila, Farzan, Tanari, Sino, and where is the wonder? Oh, right there. Okay. So first off, everyone hold hands. It doesn't seem that Tenaru City has changed too much. Right, Tenari's voice is different now. I see everything. I must get that limited edition card. <laughs> of course. Okay, let's start the Dempus. We meet again, you two. Hey, Tenari. We came here to check out this extravaganza event, and then they invited us to be guest commentators. Is that so? I heard that there would be guest commentators recording the proceedings with cameras, but <laughs> I didn't expect they'd be you two. It's a pleasant surprise that you're visiting Sumeru again while I'm still on leave. When everything comes together perfectly like this, um, I call it the biryani factor. Biryani factor? Are you going to make a joke again? Because it's always rice to meet Stu again. Because it's always nice to meet you again. No. Uh, no. 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 Uh, rice to me. Okay. So, Tainari, you are representing a and Sino is representing Spontamide. Uh huh. Graduated? Yeah. Can alumni also take part in a competition? I had wondered the same thing. When I was told the news, I was actually more shocked than you are now. I later found out that anyone who has been a part of a particular darshan has the right Graduation to participate. Has no effect. Graduation status has no effect. Okay. So that's a rule, huh? It makes sense why Faruzan is also. Hmm. There are some restrictions, though. For example, Sages cannot participate. Okay. Any given person can only participate That's in one instance of the championship, is not and so on. A given person can only participate in one instance of the championship. Okay. That's right. Also, there are two methods by which the Darshan representatives are chosen. One is self-nomination, and the other is to be recommended by over half of one's Darshan. Oh. You must have been a case of the latter, Tainari. So Tainari is probably recommended. Nah. There's no way he self... I heard that quite a few of your juniors petitioned for your candidacy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wish I could clap a few of them over the head and tell them to spend that time on studying instead. Can you refuse? Well, you can. But after some consideration, I realized this could be a good opportunity for me. Okay, Next yeah. month, we're having a public lecture on ecology at Gandharvaville. If I participate in this event, I might be able to utilize its popularity to promote the lecture. I'm not <laughs> that concerned about becoming the champion. Unlike someone here. Makes sense. Sino volunteered because he won the cart, right? Yes. I'm <laughs> using the last of my leave for this. 
When I heard that a limited edition Price. Genius Invocation TCG card was one of the prizes, I signed myself up. I wonder what's the the card. This year's card is a rare one indeed. It would be a shame if I missed out on it. Wait, is it some kind of super powerful card? Mm -hmm. No, it's a very common one. But it has a holographic layer. So it's a common card but a very rare skin then. <laughs> It's rare. It's a rare. <laughs> it's very cool. It's very cool, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Makes uh, sense. Paimon meant apart from being very cool. That is reason enough. <laughs> I shall do my Makes all sense. to emerge victorious and add it to my deck. Uh, as someone who doesn't play cards much, I can't quite relate. But it isn't surprising that everyone has their own reasons for taking part in the tournament. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> well, that explains. I must get that limited edition card. Of course. <laughs> All right, and the three of them: Faruzan, Layla, and Kavi. Oh boy. I'll show them how fierce this competition can be. Okay. I see everything. Do I really have what it takes to represent the Ratawa Star, Sean? Oh boy. And Kavi? Yes. With that prize money, I'll be able to move out of Alhatham's place. <laughs> Just to move out. Okay. Uh, Wanderer later. Wanderer last. Let's talk to them. I hope I'll get Carve next soon when the banner's up. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's you. Still need Why are you star here? I need next. We're here as specially invited guest commentators. Our job is to record what happens during the competition. Is that so? In that case, I'll have to trouble you to catch the moment of my triumph on camera. Remember to shoot from behind at a lower angle. You know, to capture a senior's class. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself now. The victory will obviously be mine. <laughs> You're far too young to even consider challenging me. Kasharwar or Ratawahist, you're all children as far as I'm concerned. Uh, actually, I was going to ask, uh, how do you know me, Madam Farazan? Huh? You don't remember? I sometimes see you in the library at night. You even waved at me. Uh, uh, what? I don't remember doing that at all. <laughs> huh. How strange. However, this is not the time for curiosity. They love I am walking, Farozan, I a household name in Haravatat. You are Layla from Ratawahist, I presume? Uh, yes. Good. Then we are officially introduced. <laughs> See? Simple as that. <laughs> I like respectful ones, by the way. Would you like to join my research group? God damn it, Faruzan. <laughs> Madam Faruzan, I'm quite sure this counts as poaching. Let's dial things down. I know, but it's been tough getting people these days. And research funding has been hard to secure. But once I win this tournament, it'll be a different story. So you're just here to increase the amount of funding you're getting? I haven't done the last hangout event yet. Well, not just that. What, are you curious about my reasons for participating in this event? Well... I suppose that's to be expected. You are our guest commentators after all. There's been an influx of newly enrolled students, and they'll be paying close attention to this competition. If I do win, I'm certain that there will be no lack of students knocking upon my door. Moreover, research resources will be made available to the victor, so that will nix my funding issues. Therefore, my two juniors, I do apologize, but I fully intend to emerge triumphant. Uh, I'll do my best as well. At least I don't plan to lose too badly. <laughs> so, why are you here, Layla? I don't know why, but recommended. a lot that of makes people sense. recommended me. I didn't sign up myself. I just woke up to find my name on the announcement board. That sounds like what happened to Dainari. Um... Is it... is... wait... Am I supposed to talk to Tenari and sign off first? 
Will it be different if I talk to them first? Oh. Him too? Oh, I'm... I'm really <laughs> okay. nervous. Interesting. I've been so worried about disappointing everyone that I've been... losing sleep. Stress not, young one. We must all experience failure to grow and mature. But Madam Farsan, I don't want to fail. Oh, seriously? Everyone has <laughs> such nice reasons for joining. Kave, you just want to move out of Alhitan's place, right? Must I say? I mean, we Nahida checked you already. Yes, you do. We gotta record it. Um, well, you know, right? I want to buy some property. <laughs> oh, that's right. Move out. Yep. You want to move out of Alhitan? Um, we shouldn't say it. Uh, yeah. uh, what? I'll hate them. What about him? This has nothing to do with him. Yeah, I'm misremembering things. Oh, Eesh. right. Sorry, Paimon has no idea what she was talking about. So, you want to use the grand prize to buy a place, right? Correct. Also, my father took part in the Interdarshan Championship when I was young, but he didn't win. Once I do, the right to wear that diadem will be mine. In a way, I'll be helping my father fulfill a dream of his. Okay. That's not a bad reason at all. You have ambition, youngster. Speaking of father, who was that just now when we saw like a sh like we were hallucinating or something? Or? Although your chances with me here aren't great, I believe your father would be most proud if the diadem of knowledge were bestowed upon you. Not that he'll have the chance to celebrate. My uh. father passed away many years ago. They say he ran into quicksand while traveling in the desert. <sighs> for you to have experienced such a thing. That must have been tough for you. It's all in the past now, and life goes on, doesn't it? Let's change topics. I don't want to bring the mood down. All right. Earlier, you said that you want to use the prize Mora to purchase a home. Where do you live now? Uh... Do you live alone? Uh, uh, well... <laughs> Hmm. I also heard you mention I'll hate them just a moment ago. Yeah, they're hiding. Isn't he also from her habitat? Are you two hiding something from me? Uh, no, of course not. Why would you think that? <laughs> Paimon's definitely not involved either. We're going to go <laughs> interview other contestants now. Bye! Yeah, Paimon. He's accidentally said it. Okay. Now, head guy. <laughs> I see everything. What's your story? Do you really think you can see through me? Excuse me? Everyone hold it. Do you really think you can see through me? Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> okay. How? Well, it makes sense. I guess. Then let's see a story. Um. So, what? What are you? Yeah. What's your story, Hat Guy? <laughs> Just call me Hat Guy. That's the name I use in Vahumana. Okay, we're really calling you Hat Guy. So I can't go by a simple, ordinary name. Fine, suit yourself. All right then, hat guy. Why are you <laughs> taking part in the Interdarshan Championship? Did Nahida put you to this? We're specially invited guest commentators, so play nice and answer our questions. You could be Matra for all I care. So what if I don't answer you? What then? Of course. I'll tell you this much. I have an agreement with someone not to reveal my motives. Agreement with someone. Okay. You're not plotting something in secret, are you? Well, it's hard to say. Why don't you take a guess? Uh... <laughs> oh, I once had it with you. <laughs> God damn this guy. And we can't even read his mind. If I don't say anything, are you going to... We're supposed to interview other contestants, come on. 
I heard that the Vahumana researcher named Akaba was researching the Tatara Suna incident. So I wrote a few essays uh -huh. to refute his points. Wait, 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 wait. The Tatara Suna incident? Later, when I was bored, I wrote some commentary on societal issues in Inazuma. I didn't expect Vahumana to consider me as one of them. <laughs> Someone even invited me to a lecture or whatever. Oh. From start to finish, it was just the wishful thinking of idiots. A misunderstanding. A misunderstanding. There's your answer. Simple. That's why? But when Lesser Lord Kusanali heard oh. about this, she went out of her way to get me registered in Vahumana. She used the name Hakka. So it was Nahida uh, that gave the, the nickname Hat Guy. Okay. Enough chit chat. You're so better off wasting your time with the other contestants. Someone's about to get very unlucky. Wanna guess who? Oh my gosh. How is anyone supposed a... <laughs> to relax with you around? <sighs> uh, we've gotta stay alert. And keep a close eye on him. Mm hmm And we can't even read his mind. Like Karina's got a moment now. Let's go chat with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Smart. Uh, where is Karina? Let me try this again. And dot dot dot. Okay, it doesn't work when... I'm close because it's gonna yeah, something like that. <laughs> oh, you must be the guest commentators Vikas invited. I've heard about you. I saw you two having quite the lively conversation, so I thought it would be best to wait. Are you two free right now? Mm -hmm. We were actually looking for you too. Excellent. Then please allow me to explain your job responsibilities in detail. First, please take these two things. Camera. The first item is a custom camera from the academia. Please use it to record the competition as it unfolds. The second is an event-specific locator that will flag all participants' locations. Event -specific it will also locator. sound when one of them completes an objective. Oh. Wow! What a convenient little thing! Aside from you two, there are two other commentators. However, they will remain by the commentator's okay, area and will oh, not be following Nilo. the contestants in real time. Oh, okay, so yeah, Nilo makes sense. Speaking of which, you probably know them. I'll hate them and Nilo. <laughs> oh, it's them! We have to go over and say hi later. Well, don't let me keep you unless you have any questions for me. Have you seen a white-haired man around? Oh, the one we saw. Hmm? Why do you ask? I saw someone like that on the stage earlier. That was like... Uh... Really? I didn't see any such person. Could I ask when you saw him? Just before the academia representative just went on stage. But it's like we're seeing. I wonder if it's a flashback or something. That doesn't make sense, too. Strange. I was on stage the entire time and I didn't see anyone come up. I didn't see anyone either. <laughs> Perhaps you're mistaken. However, if you have any leads on that matter, you can talk to me at any time. Okay. Dia. Hey, Traveler. Paimon. And Candace. Long time no see. Okay. Ah, so they're two friends of yours. In that case, I'll take my leave. May you all have a yeah, wonderful time during the extravaganza. The Academia sent us both invitations, so Dia suggested that we come together. Uh, why did he invite them, though? The villagers were also <laughs> encouraging me to travel outside the village. <sighs> I couldn't find it in myself to turn them down. <laughs> we're here now, so no point dwelling on that. Even though this extravaganza isn't a holiday or anything, it's still a big deal here in Sumeru. Merchants from all over will set up shop. There'll be tons of stuff to eat, use, and wear. Is there anyone more than you else that's not from Sumeru not here yet? Besides I've already done. set on helping you buy two new outfits. I, I mean, <laughs> who wears the same thing at work and home Carly. anyway? Carly's not here yet. I'm looking forward to it. Just being able to relax and wander the streets freely has already made my day. So, Traveler, Paimon, you two want to come with? Uh, we'd love to, but we've got work to do right now. Aw, oh, that's a shame. Let's hang out together when you're free then. Sure! 
-hmm. In that case, Candace and I'll head out first. Good clothing and fabrics are very much in demand. If you snooze, you lose. Oh, right. We should also get some accessories. No need to rush. I think we'll have a better time if we take things slow. See you two later. Feel free to come find us whenever you have the time. Paimon didn't think that Candace and Dio mm -hmm. would come. Hanging out with them sounds like a great time. Still, looks like the competition's starting soon. Let's go over to where all Haytham is and see what's going on. Yeah. Locate them. And the camera. Competition scores. Everyone zero. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Wait, where's the camera? What are we then? It's been a long time since the last Interdarshan Championship. How exciting! If I see a dollar dot, it's part of the event. <laughs> Is everyone gone already? Uh, it... <clears throat> I will now announce the rules for the first round of the competition. Please okay. listen carefully. During the opening ceremony, Academia staff released several cages of butterflies, and many of them are now fluttering within Sumeru City. Butterflies? So they're supposed to catch the butterflies? Amongst these butterflies, three of them will be special swift flies. Swift flies. They have a different appearance and also fly a little faster. Why does this feel like uh, Harry Potter... that butterfly catching... game? <laughs> Your objective this round is to find a swift fly find and bring it to me. Fly. Three points will be awarded to the first participant to return, two to the second, and one point to the third. Okay. That is all for the first round. Should you require clarification on anything, please ask any of the other staff. So there's swift flies and just normal butterflies. Oh, hey, that's all business <laughs> all the time, huh? Hmm. That said, how did he get picked to be a commentator? Paimon's kind of curious. Yeah, we'll Finding expect that. <laughs> three specific butterflies in a place as large as Sumeru City sounds rather improbable. Hmm. If these swift flies behave anything like regular butterflies, they'll be hard to find. But they move faster. I'm off. It will take some time to search every corner of Sumeru City. Okay, Sino's so going already. Huh? You're going just like that? A champion walks the road to victory. <laughs> okay. Sino serious. <laughs> My dear Kasharawar Jr., I have a plan. Oh. How about some cooperation between you and me? You teaming up? Cooperation? Looks like everyone's got their own plans for this, Tuffy. We're supposed to go on stage next, right? Uh, let's wait and see everyone's reactions first. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Look, he seems to be observing the other contestants just like we are. Mm, yeah. <laughs> what are you up to? We were right not to let our guard down. I don't think we can read his mind again. Do you remember those things we made previously? Previously? Huh? You mean? It's time for them to shine. It looks like Farazan and Kave have some secret plan. Oh, hello there. Madam Faruzan and I are discussing how... I guess, uh, let them keep that, that secret. Shh! Yeah. Hush now! The walls have ears around here. We should keep it a secret for now. Mm -hmm. But you'll find out what we have in store soon enough. All right. Come now, let's go. Before the others act. All right, there's no time to lose. We're off to make our preparations. See you later. Okay. Hmm. This is basically hey, that's what I'll <laughs> Do you think you'll have any difficulties? I have most of the reagents with me, and I can buy the rest. Kale, you're here too. Everyone's um, here. Kainari, you have a master plan ready? My hypothesis is that the swift fly's morphological variations won't significantly affect their fundamental nature. So I'm planning on using this to lure them out. Let's lure them, okay. Of 
course, I could be wrong. Every mutation opens the door to new possibilities, especially when they are artificially introduced. Uh, details will have to wait until after the post-experimental analysis. Uh, for now, Kale and I are going to buy some reagents for our experiment. All right, well, uh, <laughs> see you later. Okay, see ya! All right, that's the plan. That leaves uh... Layla. <laughs> Research the star supposed to have some extraordinary abilities. Why not use astrology to solve it? Why are you helping? <laughs> oh, you're another contestant. That guy was it? This is it that you can't use astrology during the day? <laughs> Guess that skill's less useful than I thought. No, it's not like that. If it's daytime, all I need is an astrolabe. So. Why don't you do that then? Uh, Mona Magistus, the astrologist, said that those who constantly use astrology to obtain yeah, things that Mona, shouldn't the be theirs will eventually lose the blessing from the stars. Ahem, uh, it's just something I read in an academic publication. Mona's uh, essays. I really love to read Mona's essays. We know Mona. <laughs> You're overthinking it. Power I'm not gonna is say just anything a tool. About that? Okay. It just seems to me that you don't have the resolve to win this. Well, suit yourself. <sighs> Wallow in your immature ideals if you like. Hey! Seriously? Just walking off after saying a bunch of mean stuff like that? Uh, um, did I say something wrong just now? No, it's good to have your own convictions. It was just a difference in perspective, that's all. Uh, thank you so much. I've made up my mind not to use astrology for this. Not to use? Okay. I think I'll just try my luck in the city. Uh, to be honest, I've always been pretty good at observation, and if I'm fortunate, I might be able to find that special butterfly so, species. So, Lila's just gonna try luck. <laughs> try my luck. Lord Sino seems to have found a sweet oh. fly. Come on, let's go check it out. Sino already found one? Well, he he's quick to search really? everywhere. Where? Already? The butterfly flew up high, and he's chasing it now. Oh, no time to lose. Let's go see. Already. Is everyone gonna chase this one butterfly now? <laughs> uh, as expected of Sino. Uh, actually, shouldn't you two go have a look as yeah, well? Yeah, we have to look. We the have moment to... when he catches the butterfly will the likely be one worth recording after all. Ooh, I'll head into the city shortly to start my own search. I'll see you later. Okay, Leila's not gonna bother. He's gonna find another one. Alright, in that case, let's go see Sino first. And then we can check on what everyone else is up to. Is anyone gonna interfere with uh, Sino? If since Sino found it. <laughs> let's see. I see everything. Aww, nothing. Good luck, Lena. Now let's find Sino. Where is Sino? Oh, right. You can view their location. What? <laughs> oh. oh, we can see them in the map. What? Uh, okay, before I go to Sino. This is interesting. This is just like the teapot. Ah, okay. Doesn't look in this. Good. We've got all our ingredients. Next, could I trouble you to help me mix them together? Of course, Master. Okay. That's what they're up to. Leila is there. Uh, wonder, or should I say, hat guy is here. And uh, 
What's this guy's name? Cave. Cave is nearby. Of course. Nothing? Let me find a good place to. To? Uh, okay. That's. Uh... Oh, Farazan is there too. Okay. Well, I guess man, he does not uh, working here. I need to see what those two are up to. Oh, there they are. And nothing. Of course. What are you two up to? Are you sure it's alright to release so many? Release so many? What do you mean? Have some faith. It'll be fine. Hmm. Very silent. You say it went up high. Oh gosh. Thirty meters. It's probably on the tree somewhere. That means I should go up. Uh, how do I go up from here? Oh, wait. Where is Sino? He's on the tree. He's right there. Ah, I see him. Okay. Nothing. Let's see. We found you, Sino. Oh, wait. Is that a swift fly? Stay put. Don't move. Uh, he caught it. Huh? Sino, what's wrong? Is it not a swift fly? This isn't what I'm looking for. It's a. It's a butterfly. It's a crystal fly. <sighs> Finally, I made it. I heard that you caught a swift fly, Sino. Mind letting me see what it looks like? It's not. Uh, hold on. Isn't this the mechanical bait that I released earlier? Oh, Why would you catch that instead of a swift sense. fly? The releasing so many. So, Kave actually release mechanical bait. Uh, okay. They release mechanical bait. Why would you catch this? Wait a minute. If we consider this from a different angle, isn't it a good thing that the bait you made was convincing enough to fool the Yeah, you released him? bait? That was your plan? That just makes the searching worse, isn't it? That's right. During a previous interior design project, I felt that the artificial flowers on a wall were a little bland. So I decided on placing a few moving mechanical butterflies to add some pizzazz. Pizzazz. In order to make them both small and nimble, I consulted with Madame Faruzan. Not long ago, the two of us took all those mechanical butterflies and released them into the city. Okay, but won't that make the, the searching harder? Because now you have these baits. Yeah. <laughs> need you even ask? Young people these days really do need to get out more. Okay, explain. <laughs> I don't know. Have it. you never played that game where you play strips of paper on a bamboo pole and wave it across a field of flowers to attract a whole kaleidoscope of butterflies? Place a strips of paper on a bamboo pole. Wave it across a field of flowers to attract a whole. No, I haven't. Wait. So you're trying to... That's right. The butterflies within the city will mistake our mechanical bait for one of their own and follow them around. Oh, so you're trying to bait them, them to come to you. But can you, you can bring the bait back? As long as we keep releasing and retrieving our bait, yeah, we, we can capture all the butterflies within the city. What comes afterward is just is a matter smart, of actually. separating the swift flies from the others. Yeah, just a matter of separating. Huh. Guess that's one way to do 
Okay, yeah, that is smart. But <laughs> you also uh, distract, uh, disturb the opponents as well. Your your other contestants. Do not underestimate the wisdom of your elders. That's smart. I had already thought smart. of this method the moment the round's rules were announced. <laughs> of course, we also owe much to this fine junior of mine here for making such lifelike butterflies. It seems that Kasharwar has not quite food. declined as far as I had thought in recent years. Their teaching skills at least seem to be intact. Well, I just stuck to what I do best. The idea was yours. Ah, uh, no need to be so polite. Once we capture all these butterflies, we shall split the points for this round. Ah, uh, look, one of them is returning now. Huh? Um, Wait a moment. Are my eyes deceiving me? Are those the Why three? Why don't I see any butterflies behind it? Why don't I see any butterflies behind it? That's because there are none. Seems uh -huh. like your plan has hit a snag. Yeah, you release the butterflies, but <laughs> there are no. Looks like the match continues. Okay. I'll be looking elsewhere. So it's not done yet. Huh? Strange. Has something else diverted their attention? Come, let's search in the direction the big returned from. We'll go have a look too. Okay, let's see. Interesting, interesting. Still, oh, full of horizon and cave. Hold on. So I know nothing. What? How could it not be real? Exactly. Let me follow them. I have to go. <laughs> Hold on, guys. What the hell? Two NPCs. Yo, hold on. I see everything. No dialogue, okay. But this is cool. Where, where, where? Where are you guys going now? Ah, this is cool, man. If you can bring NPCs to follow. It's like, uh, multiplayer. Okay. Co op. Oh, what? That's a lot of butterflies. Farazan, Kave, why did you two stop? Did you not see the butterflies all around? Ah, so it was the Morta boy. The Morta boy? Tainari! Oh, Tainari lured all the butterflies using the. Ah, makes sense. <laughs> Everyone has something. Fascinating, isn't it? The butterflies have all congregated here due to a special incense, incense. that I used. Yep. I infused it with three different types of honey, and the butterflies, following the fragrance, have gathered around me. Oh, butterflies must Smart. have really sharp noses then! <sighs> this is the... I don't know, song. Wait, do they even have noses? <sighs> I've never seen one. They do not, in fact, <laughs> and their vision isn't stellar either. However, they can use their antennae to distinguish between scents, and their olfactory senses are generally quite advanced, allowing them to detect floral fragrances from great distances. Oh, so that's how it is. Huh. I had a pet butterfly once. I picked wildflowers and placed them in its box, but it wouldn't eat any. That's normal. Raising butterflies isn't difficult, but there are many things you should take note of. Appropriate temperature, sufficient air, and a spacious environment are examples of such considerations. You must also ensure that the food you've chosen suits their palate. Most importantly, you must curb your curiosity and avoid disturbing them while they rest. Otherwise, they may become stressed. Ah, uh, sorry. I liked to poke <laughs> at its wings at the time. Uh, humans tend to rear many creatures due to their aesthetic value, but not all are suited to such a process. Caring for living beings is hard work. Impulse mm -hmm. alone is insufficient. Some prerequisite knowledge is always required. You sure do know a lot! <laughs> uh, I have a question too. I bought a scarab not long ago and it hasn't seemed very active. Can you help me figure out why? A scarab. I'd like to keep a dustbird as a pet. What are some key points I should consider? <laughs> um, is it possible to keep a rich bullet tiger as a pet? <laughs> Possible, maybe. <laughs> all right, it seems like you all have a great deal of questions. <laughs> but I am in the middle of the Inter Darshan Championship at the moment, so I'm afraid I can't answer them all now. Did you uh, lure any of the. Let me propose an alternative. 
Next month, there will be a biology lecture at Gendarvaville, and I will be sharing some interesting insights on living organisms there. If you're interested, well, you can attend that lecture, and if you should wanted. have any questions, just prepare them ahead of time. I'll answer questions after I finish the share about the lecture thing. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll be there. All right. Of course, please try to ask more rational questions. <laughs> For example, whether you can raise a Rishbalin tiger as a pet or not is mainly dependent on whether you can overcome one in a fight. Looks like Tainari's science lecture will draw quite a crowd. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh. <clears throat> Was I listening in for that long? <laughs> it seems Kale's master does live up to his title as a teacher. Madam Farozan, I've had a look around. And nearly all the butterflies in this area have been attracted by the incense. But no. However, we can cast our bait further away to avoid this area. Okay. All right, then let's get moving. We shan't let all the butterflies get away from us if we can help it. Seems like the competition's really heating mm -hmm. up. Let's go see how the other contestants are doing. We're still, con we're still going. We haven't seen what uh, the wonder, uh, the hat guy is up to. Everyone hold hands. Pretty sure there's nothing. Yeah, for this event, there's nothing. It's limited time, but it should. Wait, Tenari also nothing, right? Ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> hmm. The scent is starting to fade. Seems the wind is stronger than I thought. The incense isn't going to last long. The wind is stronger. Hmm. Yeah, I can't talk to the others. Okay. Uh, other competitors. Let's see. Sino is still there. Leila might have found something. Uh, okay. Kave and Farazan are there now. Hey, this is interesting. And uh, every, every checking on every single con contestant. Is Sino still on the tree above? Okay. I guess we talk to them first and then we go to Leila. I think Leila found something. Oh pretty oh god a uh, good idea of something. Let's see. Oh where is Kavi? Oh Kavi's over there. Let's wait here. Whew. Seems my age is catching up with me. And Nahida doesn't work. Uh, God damn it. Please lead the swift flies back here. I'm really counting on you. What about... Yeah, <laughs> the head guy was here, now he's up there. What is he up to? Wait, where? Oh, he's, he's sitting down here? Okay, what is he up to? No dialogue. Yep. What are you up to here? What brings you to here? Huh? You're here having coffee? Coffee! Uh, aren't you supposed to be a contestant? He's like, doesn't care. Is there really any need for me to take part while everyone's running around like it's some sort of carnival? Don't worry. I'll get involved once things actually get serious. I guess when someone actually finds one... He'll steal it. <laughs> I think he's just waiting for that. I mean, Sino nearly found it, but he didn't do anything. Ah, I don't know what he's gonna. <laughs> don't know what he's up to. All right, Leila, where is she? Where is she? Oh, she's down here. Nothing. Yep. Leila probably has something. Leila, how are things going on your end? Uh, I've been searching for quite a while now, but Nothing. I haven't seen any sign of the swift flies yet. Instead, I ended up catching a few mechanical devices that looked very similar to butterflies. Uh, I wonder where they came from. Farozan and Kave. Uh, looks like Farozan and Kave's devices are everywhere now. I'll 
keep up the search. That said, I've noticed that a number of butterflies in the city has already decreased a lot compared to when the event started. That's because of Tenari. <laughs> Probably because the other contestants are coming up with their own ways to yeah. catch butterflies. Uh, all right, I'll do my best too. Hmm? Uh, huh? Is there gonna be one? What's this? Is it a swift fly? No way, Leila just found one. Oh, what a coincidence. I guess I just need to catch it now, right? Hurry, catch it. Oh, um, please uh. wait. Oh, there it goes. Uh, it is swift. It is fast. It's so fast. Paimon thought all hate them said they were only a little faster. No, come back. Come on, traveler. Let's go too. Well, Leila has found one, but she can't catch it. We need to see this. The locator's going off. Hold up. Looks like someone's oh, that's fast. A swift that's fly. like, that's like a. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> that is really fast. Come on, Leila. You can get it. The ah. locator's going off again. I don't get it. Come on, Leila. So go. someone else finished too? That would mean that the one Layla is chasing is the last swift fly. Oh what? Come on, Leila. You can do it. Go, go, go. <laughs> Got it. Ah. Oh no. Is it? Dia oh, and it just occurred to me that we should also get you a makeup box. <laughs> no, it's fine. I, I don't think I'll end up using uh -oh, it. Lila's gonna hit them if they're chasing something. Maybe you won't, but it doesn't hurt to have one, right? Come on, Watch out. just trust me on this one. Huh? Okay, uh, no. So who are you, and what do you want? Is it on Dia? It's on the uh... uh please don't move. Don't move? Who sent you? Candace sees it. Dia. Don't worry, I can handle this. Now, tell me what do you want? Dia, stay still. Oh, Candace got it. <laughs> yeah, Candace. Nice! Leila got it. Leila got one. A butterfly? Was it on my head? Oh, sure. It's been a while, Leila. Ah. How lucky she is to get one. <laughs> a friend of yours? Oh, so she must be the one you were telling me about. Huh? You hmm. two know each other? Oh, yeah. It has been some time. The first time I ever woke up after sleepwalking, I somehow found myself in our village. <laughs> Candace was the one who took care of me then. That's right. She didn't look well, so I gave her something to eat. She said a lot of complicated things about astrology, the night sky, the stars. I'm not mean, sure I understood it Lila all, has but to it meet sounded Mona. pretty enchanting. So right. Yes, we Do book. you still want this butterfly? It seems like you were chasing it all the way here. It's of little use to me, but if you don't want it, I can release no, it. No, 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 don't release it. Just let her have it. It's no big deal. A swift fly was flying so fast, but you were able to catch it like it was nothing, Candace. Oh, it didn't seem that quick, really. I was actually worried that I would injure it. But I'm glad that didn't happen. Anyway, sorry about the butterfly thing. But the way you suddenly came running <laughs> over like that, I thought you were hired to take us out or something. Huh. Second thought, I guess I've never seen an assassin that looks tired with dark bags around their eyes. Oh, you must be taking part in the championship. T take it from me. Don't let it stop you from getting some rest. Uh, I'll do what I can. Thank you. Hmm. We'll be on our way then. See you later. Alrighty, let's bring the swift fly back together with Layla. Mhm. Mm wow. <laughs> um, can we just teleport there? And now we don't see anyone. Okay. <laughs> I guess everyone is already. 
back in the main venue, yeah. So someone was first, someone was second, but Leila is third. Uh, okay. Let's see. It seems we have a third contestant who has returned with a swift fly. With that, the first round has come to an end. I anticipate that all of you will keep up the effort for the second round. Dismissed. Did Faruzan and Kaveh got? One maybe? Maybe they got one from finding... And maybe Tanari found one? That would make sense. Ah, uh, um... Your closing statement sounded so... How do I put it? Decisive? <laughs> well, you could certainly stand to try being more decisive, Nilu. It would help you live more freely. Hang on a second. Who were the first yeah. two contestants Ooh. with swift flies? I guess it was... But is it fair to... Uh, Farazan and Kave to get... One... Tainari was first. And as for the second, it's being discussed right now. Ah, it is. So... It's between Faruzan and Kave, I assume? I was thinking about it. Hey, I'll hate them. I think I've come up with a good idea. Share it, half. Second place gets two points, right? Can't Madame Faruzan and I split the points between us? Is that allowed? Quite the imagination you have there. I've read the championship handbook from cover to cover, and I never saw any rule which permits that. How does teamwork, though? Then we can just add a rule. Do you really think I'd do that? Oh, come on, you're not going to stand in the way of my victory, are you? Well, you're free to send the organizing committee an application outlining your naive proposal. They'll get back to you within three working days. <laughs> three working days? Here we go It'll again. be too late by then. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, even dreaming is going to cost you. So how is this going to be? Hi, now. Yeah, they Kavi found it together. found the second swift fly together, but the rules say that only one person can get the points. Hmm. <sighs> oh well, the rules are the rules. Since you call me madam and politely ask for my help, I shall give you these points. Oh, she just gave. I guess uh, winning doesn't really. No, she she really won. Really? So I'll put the points under Kaveh's name then. Oh. No. If I take these points, won't that only detract from your contributions, Madame Faruzan? <laughs> you might be alright with that, but I cannot do it. Not in good conscience. I don't have any problem with it. There are two more rounds after all. Losing one isn't a major setback. But if you insist, I have another method. We can draw lots to see who will receive the points. We can draw lots to see who will receive? But lots, huh? What? Is there something wrong with that idea? Uh, no. Well, let's do it. Alright. I'll get the paper needed for the lots. Uh, give me a moment. So it's like a lot three. Everybody watches cover suffer a glorious and fortnight defeat in the oh, game. Oh, seriously? <laughs> I'm sorry. But it appears that luck was on my side this time. No, you do deserve it. I'm just lamenting my bad luck. <laughs> lamenting. Perhaps... <laughs> Perhaps that's why my life is rife with troubles. <laughs> Indeed. It's rare to see anyone with such terrible luck be so willing to decide victory by a lot. And what would you know about that? I just... Uh, we can save bickering for later. Record the points under Farazan, and that'll finally bring the first round to a close. The second round will be held in the desert. We'll be moving our commentator stand over to Aru Village. Oh, second round is in Aru Village. Okay. Let's meet up in Aru Village once everything is ready. I guess that's I'll announce the details no, of the, the second round then. Till then, you have some free time. I'm off the clock at this point, so it's farewell for now. Wait, I'll hate them! You... <sighs> Don't be upset, Kave. Sign can carry away your good luck, you know. Oh, so that's how it works. <laughs> in that case, I'll take in some deep breaths. Maybe that'll help me make up for all the luck I've lost. <sighs> it's really no big deal. Two points aren't enough to decide victory or defeat just yet. I'll win the next round. You'll see. Looks like you've managed to pick yourself back up, young man. 
Good. I must warn you, though, that I'm quite familiar with the desert. You'll have to try your best if you don't want to lose. I'm no stranger to the desert either. I'll be fine. All right, then. That's enough chit-chat for now. I'm going to check the area out. Hmm. So the current standings nice are Hinari in first place, Farozan in second, and Layla in third. Layla's lucky. Oh. <laughs> Guess we should also Get take it. a nice break before the next round starts. But where should we go first? Why, you two look a little lost. If you're not sure where Mon to start Diana. enjoying the Academia Extravaganza, then may I suggest that you have a chat with our boss? Who's the boss? Your boss? Who's that? Do we know them? I wonder if it's... <laughs> well, only the most famous merchant in all of Sumeru, Lord Sangama Bay. Oh, you mean Dory. Dory. Okay. <laughs> Precisely. Our boss sent me to inform you two that she'll be waiting for you at Sumeru City's North Gate. What's... what she... Need? Look for Dory? Uh, yeah, how did I forget Dory? Alamak. I knew someone was missing. And Nahida, of course. Yeah. Okay. Wow. One hour already? Dory. Oh, well, if it isn't the traveler in Paimon. Hey, Dory, are you here to attend the Academia Extravaganza too? Of course. Uh, people are practically flocking to Sumeru City. You couldn't ask for a better opportunity to do business. <laughs> this is one of the entrances into the city, and it's very close to the Wisdom Gala booths. There'll be an endless stream of customers. <laughs> Already hear the mora going clink 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 as they fill my <laughs> corn pouch. Well, is there anything you'd like to purchase? We've got everything you need and deals that can't be beat. Okay. Mm well, do you have anything to eat? Oh wait, we're celebrating the extravaganza. <laughs> we're only thinking of eating. <clears throat> I mean, of, of course. course, we've got yeah. lots of things to eat. That said. Consider some of the great bargains we have going on. The Wisdom Gala is about to begin, and once it starts, each of the Darshans will prepare a small challenge for everyone. And just between us, I have some super booster supplements for sale. Eat just one to boost both your strength and dexterity for a short time, allowing you to overcome any challenge. Uh, no thanks, we'll pass. <laughs> Wow. All right, all right. Mora is Mora, after all. Oh, what would you like to eat? Hmm. Well, Paimon's pretty hungry right now. Ooh, tachi. Uh, do you have any tachi? Let me see. And I think something's gonna happen. Who this is, is a huge job, isn't it? A more huge job. If this works out, we'll be set. Ganjo. What is talking Here about? Here you go! Two servings of touching. See? I told you there's nothing Lord Sangama Bay can't procure. Yay! Uh, huh? What are you looking at, Traveler? Thought I saw someone just now. Well, uh, yeah, there were two people there, but... No. Do we? Do we know them? Was it someone suspicious? Have we attracted some unwanted attention? Huh? Something's What's going on Yuri? here. Is there something else going but on? I don't get what is it. I don't know who you saw just now, but I do have some hard to come by information about the extravaganza. Oh? If you want to know more, we can talk business later. Hmm. Is that all? Yep, that's all. Okay, something is going on, but we're not sure what is it. This is the event, huh? 
the six star chance. Okay, this is Layla. <laughs> Far above from. Okay, this is an event. Okay, NPCs in every Dardarshan, there's an event. New quest, ask story for information. Wait, is that part 2 today? Continue on. Oh gosh, there is more. It's not even 4 a.m. Wait, did this event start yesterday? Uh, Interdashan Championship. No, it's not. This is something else. Okay, it's not Act 2. I thought. Wait, Act 2 is unlocked? No, 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 it's something else. Okay, okay. No, no, this is a, this is a world quest. Okay, this one. Dory says she has the latest update on the Academy Extravaganza. Why not go and hear it? This is not gonna be long, isn't it? Let's just let's just do this right now. I see everything. Okay. Uh, Dory, what information do you have? I don't have to wait another day. Tell me now. Okay, there is no voice. One million. Okay, never mind. <laughs> nope. Do you have any other option besides one million more? Paimon is customer 1001. Oh, now it's free. Okay. <laughs> really? Yeah. The diadem of knowledge, yes. Uh huh. Sachin gave was an expensive antique. It was donated, was lost by them once before. Hmm? I got witnesses too. Kashmir from the suburbs. The password is that incident from 20 years ago. Oh, this is like a world quest now. You know what, I'm doing this now. I'm not gonna uh, bother waiting another day or whatever. I'm curious. If you don't know there's no voice, uh, I wanna finish this. I hope I got enough space. <laughs> I, I'm a bit worried that my space not finished. Everyone hold hands. Sir Rafi dares to blab about the boss one more time. Hmm? I see everything. Okay. Nothing. Gosh, man. Was also held that year. There were three rounds. Saw strange creatures. Aranara, assuming. They took me to the competition. It was already over. Saw the dragon a crown along. She figured out I was lost and got her neighbors to go looking for me.
Okay, this limited quest become like a world quest suddenly. <sighs> I've never done world quests in a video. But this is an event world quest or something. <laughs> Um, just in case if there's a battle or something, which I don't think there is. Just what will we come across this time? What am I looking for? There's a hole in the tree, there's nothing in it. There's a note. That's it. The good Nara taught Arakashapa how to read. That's it? Okay, that's some... The good Nara. Wait, is that all? That was all. Okay. Oh, Easter egg. Easter egg quest, I guess. And Dory gave us the information. Okay, that's all for part one. Part two of this uh, event in two days. The others have to interact with the NPCs. So far, that's all. Right? Okay, that's it for this video guys, before I'm running out of space. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time.